So this is the final steps to configure Genmon to work with the Briggs and Strat and standby generator with the GC1030 series controller. Uh, so at this point, you should have configured the serial connection to the generator. Uh, if you used the, the network converter, you entered the IP address of the device and the port. If you've used a serial port, then you have that configured and communicating uh, with the generator. Now we just need to tell Genmon this, you know, the configuration settings on what to look for on the generator, what uh, registers and, and where to receive the data from. So to do that, in the top right menu here, there's a, a little secret menu. Uh, the first time you click this, this will show all zeros. You know, you're, you're not communicating yet with the generator, so there's no data in there. Uh, but you click up here a second time and it takes you into this advanced configuration menu. So this is where you enter the rest of the data that you need to. We showed on the previous uh, you know, screens and videos, you need to get the Modbus uh, slave ID from the generator, as it's called on the control panel. Here they call it the Modbus slave address. It's the same thing. And assuming yours is going to be two, enter it here. If it's a different address, uh, enter what, whatever that is in hex. So uh, if you're not familiar with how to convert decimal to hex, you know, you can do a search online. There's plenty of tools to do that for you. Um, and enter that number here. Specific to the Briggs and Stratton generator, it uses a slightly different Modbus standard than Generac, which this tool was written for. So you'll need to enable this switch to uh, talk over FC3 or FC4 instead of FC3. It's a minor change, but uh, it's very important for the, uh, the Briggs generator to be able to pull data into here. And then the last two things you need to do, controller type, we're custom, and you're going to pick the Briggs configuration file. While you're in here, if you do have the consumption data for your generator, if you're, you know, again, on propane or on a limited fuel source, feel free to enter that here and save you from having to click a second time. Click save, the software will reboot, and when you opens back up, you should be able to see the counters in the register view here. And on the status page, you should see your gauges light up with the status and all of the relevant data. Again, if you have any problems, feel free to leave them in the comments. But uh, again, hope this saves you all the pain that uh, I initially had setting it up and happy monitoring.